Hello everyone and welcome to this session of uh, packaging Office 2013 in AppV. First off, uh, I would like to say that there are two types of uh, licensing that is uh, you can use for uh, AppV5 uh, on Office 2013. You can use subscription licensing on uh, desktop and personal VTI, uh, but if you have volume licensing, you can publish uh, Office 2013 to desktop, personal VTI, pooled VTIs, and remote desktop services. Uh, it's only working with AppV5 Service Pack 2, so you have to install it uh, on the client. So first off, you need to uh, download the uh, Office deployment tool. I've already created a shortcut here to download it. And just click on download and run. Accept the agreement. Click on continue and put it on. Uh, folder here on C drive and just click OK. So the files have extracted successfully. Next thing you need to do is go into command prompt as administrator. There you have office deployment tool and uh, there is a file called configuration.xml. So I'm going to edit the configuration XML file. There you have uh, uh, all these settings here. And you can uh, just remove this. Now you need to set a path, uh, a source path for the uh, office download. So I'm just going to create a folder here on my C drive called Office 2013 and copy it and paste it here. Uh, the product ID is going to be a volume licensing version for me. So I just type in the Pro Plus volume. You can uh, get more information about uh, different types of products on, uh, on Microsoft website. Uh, so just get it up here. So it's just search for this uh, in Bing and then you can find all the uh, information here. So here's the office deployment toolkit which you can download and um, the procedures. Uh, this is content, sorry. There is, uh, just gonna find it here. Yeah, here you have some uh, settings which you can use. You can have different uh, product IDs, which are here, and uh, different uh, editions, 32-bit version or 64-bit version. I'm just gonna use 32-bit uh, version, and I'm not going to do visual. So. This is Pro plus volume. I just click on save. Now no, the next thing you do need to do is uh, download the the Office package. Just type in setup, download uh, configuration.xml and just hit enter. 
uh, you can see already it started uh, downloading the packages so I paused a moment there just to wait for the download so if you just look inside you get the version here and uh, the stream file the next thing you need to do is uh, create the app package so just uh, type in setup um, Sorry, sorry. It's, uh, just one moment. Um, just gonna create another directory here called Office 2013 App V, which is the uh, directory for the App V packages. So I'll just go back into the command prompt here. Uh, click on the uh, and type in the path for the for the FE package and just click on uh, enter it will do some stuff here and it will take a while to finish so just gonna wait for that for a while and pause okay it should be now a package here called Pro Plus Volume, uh, about one gigabyte in size. Now we can uh, copy the uh, this files to the FV uh, server, but I've already done that on the server here, so I have it on the Share Apps Microsoft Office 2013. And uh, the next thing you do need to do is uh, uh, enable scripting uh, on uh, AppV client. I have a AppV client here, so we can do that using PowerShell. type in uh, sat app v client configuration uh, enable package scripts and one and that sh oh, should be set actually oh yeah I've already configured it through group policy so it's giving me uh, an error here I'm just going to show you where it, where I set this setting here in group policy if you have that so it's in uh, policies administrative uh, template and there is system app v publishing and here i have the settings for the server here ah uh, oh, sorry scripting here and enable package scripts put it into enabled then you can then the clients have it enabled by default now I'm going to just uh, publish the uh, package here you, as you can see there's no office installed uh, so I'm just going to use uh, at v client package and the path to the shear and have it published as global This will take a uh, few minutes. Just gonna wait a moment until it's finished and see you soon. And now it's finished. So if I click on start menu, I see 11 new apps installed. 
and there I have all the office packages so I just click on word it's showing here uh, in the right button it's loading the uh, word so as you can see it's starting here and I can write something some stuff here okay that's it for creating uh, an uh, appy package for office 2013 thanks see you soon